Rakshasa Street is a place where there is a portal connecting the human world with the spirit world. The place is guarded by two brothers named Chao Yen Bing, we can call him Yen Bing, and his brother Chao Xian Liang that we can call him Xian. They both role as law enforcers in place of their parents to keeping no human being from entering the spirit world and otherwise preventing the spirit from entering the human world. Now the scene is shown a brother named Chao Yen Bing is a spirit conquering general who used to have a fairly guardian spirit as legend named Eugene, who is also a spirit hereditary protector in his family. But, in one time, an unknown people attacked him and made his guardian spirit die in battle. While his younger brother Chao Xian Liang had an assassin guardian spirit named Tang Lu, his guardian spirit was not so strong but has an attack speed above average, therefore, he is not so superior in one by one fighting. Because currently Rakshasa Street is considered to have weakened, an evil organization then tries to take over and control that place and those two brothers inevitably have to defend the place no matter what. The story then back to the human world where a woman named Xiao Ling is shown who suddenly gets a message from mysterious someone, that mysterious someone says that Xiao Ling is being targeted by an evil spirits and having to meet someone in a place called Rakshasa Street, because only that person can save her life at this time. After several got time strange events, and then she has decided to go to the address given to her and it turned out that unconsciously, she had passed by portal and enter another realm that she doesn't know at all. Shortly, Xiao Ling finally found the house in question, which turned out to be that is Yen Bing's house, she has arrived there with the evil spirits who wanted revenge after being defeated by Yen Bing, so Yen Bing told her to come in while he will defeat all the spirits evil who challenged him. But here, Xiao Ling is still followed by a spirit who wanted to get rid of her, fortunately Xin, Yen Bing's younger brother, is able to detect the existence of the spirit and immediately attack them. Shortly, after successfully clearing up those disturbances, Xiao Ling who's still confused about what happened, then asked for an explanation from them, here, Yin Bing and Xian explain what is a Rakshasa street and says that most likely Xiao Ling is a spirit host where she also has a guardian spirit, because the air pressure in the Rakshasa street is different from the human world so that it is not possible for ordinary people to survive. In that place. Meanwhile, on the other side, it is shown that there is a women figure who comes to meet the evil spirits in their base, here, because they are considered absent from their mission and useless, that women then wipe them all out by herself continues to the next day, it is shown again the Rakshasa street being attacked by an unknown group, here, because Yen Bing is going for investigate the evil spirits that from yesterday attacked them, so Xian inevitably had to fight them alone. At first, Xian and his guardian spirit could easily defeat them, but it wasn't longer after that, the figure who leading them appeared and summoned his guardian spirit to fight Tang Lu, the guardian spirit of Xian. Due to differences specifications, Tang Lu is distressed against the enemy's guardian spirit, and finally attacked without mercy. Here, the villain says that his main goal is actually to take Tang Lu and destroy the Rakshasa Street's tree that they guarded in their house yard. That villain also said that his brother would not be able to help him because currently he does not have the guardian spirit anymore. Heard that, Xian immediately realized that the man has come from the same group that wiped out his brother's guardian spirit several years ago. And then the scene shown that Tang Lu had launched his last attack and finally succeeded in subverting his opponent's guardian spirit before he attacked Xian. But because he was no longer helpless, Tang Lu unable anymore to stop the villain who intended to take Tang Lu, Xian's guardian spirit. Fortunately, Yin Bing come in time and successfully save them, here, Yin Bing finally finds out that the group that tried to attack him from yesterday are royal errands who want to rule Pagoda Tree on the Rakshasa Street. And then because it was carried away by emotions, Yin Bing had missed and made the enemy's guardian spirit able to attack him. While he was unconscious, it turned out to be made Yen Bing could communicate with the second guardian spirit inside him, so it turned out that he had been all this time as too strong guardia, but after his first guardian spirit named Eugene is gone, Yen Bing suppressed his own strength so that his second guardian spirit could not come out to appear. However, because now he has to protect his little brother and Xiao Ling, Yen Bing finally calls his guardian spirit out for the first time, that spirit is named Su Chu and one of the legendary guardian spirits, it is shown here he can easily defeat his enemies. But they don't realize that all this time there is still one of the guardian spirit who present there. She is a ninja named Hanzo. When Yang Bing and the others were caught off guard, Hanzo took an advantage of the moment to take the buds of the pagoda tree then saved her friend and left immediately. It makes the power of the pagoda tree explode and destroy the tree itself. Luckily, long after, someone come who claimed to be Master Guy, he defused the explosion with the power of his guardian spirit and it turned out that he is the same person who told Xiao Ling to come to meet Yan Bing. His reason to meet Yen Bing is because out of nowhere he found out that Yen Bing inherit power of very rare fighter's body, which not only has two guardian spirits, but if the abilities are maximized, he can have seven guardian spirits at once. Master Guy also said, 
if the sacred pagoda tree serves to guard the stability of the spirit world and divide it in twelve points. He also explains that the intention of the royal group was to destroy all existing sacred trees to open the way to the human world and also exterminate the spirit hosts for their guardian spirits. The only way to thwart the plan is to reclaim the tree buds stolen by Hanzo. Initially, Yen Bing looks don't care, but after being told that the mastermind behind all this is the same person who killed his friend and guardian spirit, his attention used to be suspicious of Master Guy. Here, Yin Bing starting to suspicious about the identity of Master Guy because he could know what incident 10 years ago, he then accused Master Guy of being an imposter and challenges him to fight. If Yang Bing wins, Master Guy is asked to reveal his true identity. But here, Master Guy tries to convince Yin Bing that his intention is good, he wants to train Yin Bing and help him to restore the stability of Rakshasa Street. In the middle of their conversation, suddenly the marker talisman belongs to Yen Bing sounded and indicated that there is a crime in his area, so he is immediately going to the place which turned out to be Xiao Ling and her parents accidentally passed by in the portal, because it was disturbed by the evil spirits. Shortly, Yen Bing is easily to defeat those evil spirits, and as usual, he had to erase the human's memory who had entered the spirit realm, however, when he wanted to erase Xiao Ling's memory, Yen Bing suddenly accidentally entered the subconscious of Xiao Ling and met her guardian spirit named Li Xuan, here, he forbade Yen Bing to erase Xiao Ling's memory because she is also a spirit host. Shortly, when they got home, Master Guy also says to Yen Bing that he has actually already knew Xiao Ling actually was a spirit host, and he intended to invite Xiao Ling on the journey to save the pagoda tree as well as train her so that she could use her strength. And here, Yen Bing had refused because before he saw that Xiao Ling's guardian spirit was shackled and it could be troublesome for them later, to be afraid so it's a burden on the team, but here Master Guy tells Yen Bing that actually Xiao Ling's guardian spirit can be said to be very strong and she only needs to train in order to remove the shackles that bind her guardian spirit and it will be the responsibility of Master Guy. And here, Yen Bing knowing that to remove the chains that shackling the guardian spirit is not easy, plus there is a risk that the spirit host cannot control the guardian spirit if the chain has been detached. The point is Yen Bing rejected the idea from Master Guy to take Xiao Ling to find the buds of Pagoda Tree, finally because did not meet an agreement, Yang Bing again and again challenged Master Guy to fight. Because it feels like it will there is a fight, Xian then took the initiative to call Xiao Ling to inform the current condition, she then asked to come to the Rakshasa Street as soon as possible. When she got there, and then Xiao Ling tries to stop them, after being given a brief explanation by Master Guy about his intentions, Xiao Ling finally decided to be willing to come with them and Yan Bing must beat him if he wants to forbid her to participate. Feeling that his man had disturbed because he was challenged fight one by one by a girl, Yin Bing, and then agreed Xiao Ling's challenge, and here unexpectedly something happened, where Yin Bing calls his guardian spirit out, suddenly Xiao Ling also managed to call her guardian spirit out and immediately attacked him back, and Xiao Ling is finally considered won that fight. But the incident immediately knocked her unconscious which may have been caused by a physical condition that she was not used to her guardian spirit, as a man who has to hold his own talk, Yin Bing finally agrees to invite Xiao Ling on his journey. And then before embarking on his journey, it is seen Yin Bing takes the time to pay homage to the Zyra once worn by his first guardian spirit. After confirming and promise to avenge his guardian spirit to the royal group while taking back the pagoda tree buds, Yin Bing finally started on his journey together with Master Guy and Xiao Ling. And then he entrusts his responsibility to Xin to look after the Rakshasa street during his departure this time. Shortly, they arrive at the place that will be they used it as a training ground and the first step Master Guy took to train Xiao Ling is to loosen the chains that bound her guardian spirit so that they both can communicate well. While the practice for Yen Bing is to increase his endurance when summoning his guardian spirit out. On the other side, the spirit kingdom made a wanted poster to capture Yen Bing who scapegoat as the one who destroyed one of the twelve sacred trees. Hanzo was signed by the Spirit Kingdom in order to keep an eye on Yen Bing, finally found their location with the help of her crow, here he is also ordered to contact the hunter's bounty hunter and ask them to hunt Yen Bing and the others. Continues to the second day of training, here, Yen Bing and Xiao Ling taught about the strategy of summoning and placing the guardian spirit, because according to Master Guy, the first attack in a fight will have a huge influence on defeating the enemy. Meanwhile, in a place called the Hall of Heroes, a person is shown who gets a letter informing him the return of strongest spirit host named Huang Fu Long Du, not long after, that person then going to find that spirit host who was said to be with Yen Bing. Back to Yen Bing and Master Guy, here he is shown a high level of guardian spirit summoning technique which they called breath, so a spirit host could summon and recall their guardian spirit in the middle of a fight in one breath, but mostly the hosts of spirit cannot do it in a short period of time continuously, in comparison, it is said to only exist one among 10,000 spirit hosts who could do it. 
Meanwhile, on the other side, it is shown Xiao Ling has begun to smoothly summon and defend her guardian spirit for a few minutes, but that still drained a lot of her energy and makes Xiao Ling half faint. And not long after waking up, while Yen Bing and Xiao Ling looking for their hunting their fowl, suddenly the two of them are met by someone from the Hero Hall who was previously shown looking for the strongest spirit host. Here Yen Bing thought that that person had come to arrest him because he is carrying a wanted fugitive poster and shown a picture of Yen Bing. As usual, Yen Bing challenged him to fight, but here are shown their strength. Which is at a different level where only one combo, Yen Bing can be easily beaten. Luckily, not long after, Master Guy comes and helped Yen Bing, here, then that person introduced himself as Xiang Kunluan, the leader of the Hero Hall, he came to that place to find a Master Guy, because according to the information he got, the real name of the Master Guy is Huang Fu Long Do, the strongest spirit host at this time. Here, the leader of the Hero Hall, then challenged him to fight for proved it, and it is shown that they both mastered a fairly high fighting technique, but finally here Master Guy was defeated by him. And then after defeating Master Guy, the leader Hero Hall leaves because he thinks that Master Guy is not the person he is looking for, because if he is really the strongest spirit host, then he will not be so easily defeated by him. Not long after, the leader of the Hero Hall left, again and again they got trouble, this time, the bounty hunter group who got information from Hanzo who came to them, Master Guy who realized that Yen Bing who would not be able to fight with his condition now, told the guardian spirit of Xiao Ling to take them two left from there. After living here alone, and here Master Guy took off the mask he had been wearing to hide his identity, and it turned out to be as true that he is actually Huang Fu Long Do, strongest spirit host and his guardian spirits is Headless God of War who is very famous, so this confirms he is just pretending weak when facing the leader of the Hero Hall. On the other side, Hanzo who knows that the bounty hunters have been defeated by Master Guy and reports it to the leader, here, she has also said that there is only one survivor who was the one who was called the Master. Move to Yen Bing and Xiao Ling who had returned to the human's world, here are shown miscommunication between them, Yen Bing was rescued thinking that Xiao Ling had deliberately abandoned Master Guy at the fight, finally, after arguing they are decided two separate and returned to their each lives. When Xiao Ling arrived at the boarding house, she spoke to her guardian spirit that the point is, her guardian spirit tells that if the spirit of the pagoda in Rakshasa Street cannot be saved, then the safety of humans can be threatened, hearing this, Xiao Ling finally changed her mind and made up her mind to help Yen Bing. In the middle of the conversation, her guardian spirit suddenly felt a huge energy coming from the two spirit hosts around the campus, Xiao Ling immediately going to the source of the energy. It turned out that the energy came from Yen Bing and the master who were fighting, here, Yen Bing is almost hit by an attack from guardian spirit of the master, luckily, Xiao Ling get there in time and her guardian spirit managed to repel that attack. Yin Bing immediately took an advantage of the moment to summon his guardian spirit with the breath technique newly taught by master guy and successfully defeated the master. After successfully defeating him, Yen Bing and Xiao Ling interrogating him and ask who sent him to hunt Yen Bing, here, the master says that he is a gift hunter and hunts Yen Bing just to get a reward. The master also says that Master Guy is still alive, but he doesn't tell the truth that Master Guy lets him live and continues his hunt, conditionally, he must not divulge the real identity of Master Guy to Yen Bing. Master Guy is planning to test Yen Bing's ability by letting him fight the master, once he finds out that Master Guy is still alive, Yen Bing finally let him go this time. While on the other side, is shown Master Guy with his real identity who looks quite satisfied to have knowing Yen Bing who managed to use the breath technique to defeat the Master. He hopes that one day Yen Bing will be willing to help him, but for what purpose, here we still don't know. Shortly, the next day, Yen Bing and Xiao Ling continued their journey and worked together to take back the buds of pagoda tree that stolen by Nzo, and Yen Bing also gave a skin left by his mother to Xiao Ling, he said that the costume can help her to controlling her unstable spirit power. Both of them decided to start their journey by heading Yulin Street, it is like Rakshasa Street but different villages. Yin Bing suspects that Hanzo's next target is the Bodhi Tree is on that street. Arriving at Yulin Street, Yin Bing and Xiao Ling try to find information about the whereabouts of the sacred tree, but here, the people seemed immediately frightened as soon as they found out what they were looking for. When they got to a tavern, there is one person there who didn't seem to be afraid of they both, turned out to be an informer who was selling an information for some money, initially, that person refused to provide information about the sacred tree there, but after seeing Yen Bing's skills, somehow he changed his mind and tells all the information he knew to him. That person tells that the tree was their search located in a forbidden land called Ming Jin village, he also said that in that place is a lair of evil spirits, where five years ago, when they came out, they destroyed most of Yulin's street territory, so the people there were frightened as soon as they heard that place called. Yin Bing and Xiao Ling finally going to Ming Jin village according to the clue given by the informer before. 
When they got there, they were greeted by a fairly horror atmosphere with thick fog that enveloped the entrance of the village, but actually, behind the thick fog was only ordinary village with the ordinary villager. The strange thing here is that the villagers seem to be isolating themselves from the outside world, and they are very scared when they see Yang Bing and Xiao Ling are coming from outside the village. The villagers here thinks that the area outside the village is a dangerous area, while the people on Yulin Street thinks the area of Ming Jin village is the land cursed and dangerous, so both afraid. But knowing that Yen Bing and Xiao Ling comes from outside the village, a little girl even approaches them and asks for help to find her best friend who went out of village, Yen Bing decides to look for the child while Xiao Ling lives there to convince the villagers that they are not bad people. Shortly, Yen Bing finally found the child they were looking for in an unconscious condition because of the gout she suffered, and Yen Bing immediately brought her back to village to be healed immediately. Out of curiosity, after that child woke up, Xiao Ling had asked why the villagers are afraid of people from outside their area? Here, that little girl said that according to someone they called Master Nan and General Men, outside their village a lot of evil spirits would eat people including children and also there is a strange disease that will infect them if they dare to leave the village. So, all the villagers are like in doctrine with scary stories so as not to dare to get out of the village by a spirit-conquering general in the Yulin Street section, aka General Men. Not long ago, General Men came to meet them with a wanted poster belongs to Yen Bing, General Men said that he doesn't want to deal with a fugitive, and in gratitude for helping the girl, Yen Bing is allowed to leave the village with peaceful. It is told here that General Men ruled on Yulin Street by instilling fear to his citizens, he was also said to have good abilities fight and do not hesitate to punish those who break the law in his territory. As usual, because of his high ego, Yen Bing does not accept being treated like that and even challenged General Men to fight, and finally a fight between them ensued, even though the fight could not be totality because they felt not good because there are children to see there. Shortly, the two of them finally ended their fight and decided to eat with the food that had been prepared by Xiao Ling and the children, it turned out to be Shan here Hanzo who from earlier hid under the house to spy on them and accidentally got hit from Yen Bing and General Men. She has decided to go back and report that Yen Bing had arrived at Yulin Street and have met with the General Men his residence. Continue to the next day, Yen Bing was shocked by the villagers who suddenly turned into zombies, Yen Bing seemed hesitant to get rid of them, because he doesn't know yet what made the villagers turn out to be like that. In the midst of their confusion, suddenly a person appeared carrying a bell and calmly led them away from there, that person is Master Nan aka Nan Yufu, the one who was said to be together with general men protecting the villagers from evil spirits. Master Nan led villagers to move away from Yen Bing and Xiao Ling, and not long after, general men also appeared in that place, Yen Bing seemed to have a bad feeling and decided to leave the village for a while. Continued into the night time, it is shown Master Nan who is healing the villagers using the energy generated from the holy Bodhi tree belonging to the Yulin Street area, then by ringing its bell once again, the consciousness of the villagers instantly returned and they returned to normal behavior as usual. On the other side, it is shown Yen Bing brings Xiao Ling to a place that turns out to be Hanzo Xin, so it was told before, Yen Bing who already knew that someone was following him, so he deliberately pretended to vomit in order to put a tracking device on that person's clothes, Yen Bing is shocked as soon as he found out that Hanzo turned out to be quite smooth and automatically reflexively closed her eyes because when he was raided, it turned out that Hanzo took a bath, Hanzo immediately seized the opportunity and ran away from there. Shortly, the next day when Yen Bing and Xiao Ling are chatting, here, suddenly Xiao Ling feels pain, it turned out to be yesterday in the village, Xiao Ling didn't realizing that she had been bitten by the villagers, the bite also contained poison which eventually makes Xiao Ling faint, luckily, her guardian spirit comes out and help relieve the toxins in her body. After Xiao Ling wakes up, Yen Bing intends to return to the tavern on Yulin Street to meet the informer who previously sold an information to him, because of his suspicions, he intends to dig deeper information about Ming Jin village and the villager in it as well as find information to treat Xiao Ling's wounds, as soon as they met that informer, they immediately showed the wound she suffered, but here the informer doesn't tell about. The wounds suffered by Xiao Ling, in fact, he told a place where healers around there will be able to heal her, Yin Bing also had time to ask about strangeness in Ming Jin village and said that they had met General Man and Master Nan, the informer then told that it turned out that Master Nan is not an ordinary person, but the main general of an army called Spirit Armor. Because of in a hurry, after hearing some information from that informer, they are going to a place that was said to be able to treat Xiao Ling's wounds, but not long after they left, suddenly the master appeared in the tavern, here, the master asked the whereabouts of Yen Bing and Xiao Ling to the informer by offering a considerable amount of money, the informer rejected and said that he never saw the person in question, as if he is. Deliberately covering up Yen Bing's existence and Xiao Ling, but his efforts in vain, because not long ago, one of the members of the royal group appeared and tells where he was. 
Meanwhile, on the other side, Yin Bing and Xiao Ling had arrived at the address that they intended. There looked like a dead city where no one was seen on the activity, and as soon as they are going deeper, someone appeared who had turned out to be a zombie, similar to Ming Jin Village. Out of curiosity, they then tried to catch her, but until here, the master has managed to catch up them and still trying to catch Yin Bing, and Yin Bing told Xiao Ling to chase that zombie, while he will fight the master first. Due to the conditions of Xiao Ling who is not fit, as a result of the poison in her body began to spread, she has finally collapsed and fall down on the street. Meanwhile, Yin Bing had successfully defeated the master and his guardian spirit, and Yin Bing realized that the guardian spirit is not just a tool used to fight, but more like a companion, because the life of spirit host and guardian spirit will be related to each other. Back to Xiao Ling, here is briefly shown of her who has awakened in a cave and surrounded by mysterious people, but when Xiao Ling asks for her guardian spirit to come out, her guardian spirit said that he did not feel the evil energy from those people and asked her to go back to get rest. And suddenly Xiao Ling woke up and was found by Yan Bing in a different place with the wound that had healed, there, Yan Bing also saw the zombie they had met previously and instead killed that zombie. But before that zombie died, she had pointed to the bag who brings by Xiao Ling which turned out to be in it there is a secret letter whose contents they could not see, so they both decided to go back to town to meet the informer who directs them to that place. But they don't find it in the shop where they used to hang out, after asking the owner of the shop where he is, Yin Bing is a little suspicious of his behavior and decided to follow where the owner of the shop left, it turned out that the owner of the shop is Hanzo who disguised himself with the facial acupressure technique, Yin Bing followed her and managed to find that the informer turns out to have been captured by Hanzo, but before being rescued by Yen Bing, Hanzo injects a potion into the informer which makes him lose his mind and tries to attack Yen Bing, and Yen Bing evading that informer and trying to catch Hanzo who tries escaped from there. Shortly, after Yen Bing managed to catch Hanzo, he feels that Hanzo is not a bad person, she is just on the wrong path because of the actions of the kingdom her superiors. And then shown the informer who turned out to have been captured by Hanzo's boss, and again, he is injected with a drug made by the royal group that can make the body humans heal from wounds quickly, but the drug reduces their life instead, in other words, the more injuries suffered, will make the injected person quicker to aging. Evidently, all this time, the informer intends to save the villagers of Ming Jin and seize the opportunity when meet with Yen Bing, that girl then asks the whereabouts of other villagers who were still left, but the informer doesn't want to tell it, until finally Yen Bing got to that place and saved him from there. Because he had received many stabs, after being rescued by Yen Bing, the informer had changed became grandfathers and would not last long, and he asked Yen Bing to take him somewhere before being called by the Almighty. Evidently, Yen Bing is asked to take him to the cave where Xiao Ling was previously cured, he then summoned those cave dwellers to comes out, who turned out to be the villagers of Ming Jin village who managed to escape from the village and hid there until now. It turns out that Yen Bing realized that the people occupying Ming Jin village at this time are not natives of the spirit region, but people who were deliberately kidnapped from the human world, and placed there to be used as an experiment. And then the informer tells the real incident that happened in Ming Jin village, where it all started from five years ago, at that time, Ming Jin village was still the holy land where people sought healing. The informer named Jing Xian who turned out to be one of the ancestral descendants of the village with his brothers, then one night, someone appeared on the border and dying and having a lot of wounds on his body, and Jing Xian asked the leader there to allow that man to be healed via a body tree belonging to the village. Initially, the leader of the village doubts because according to the rules of their ancestors that had been carried out from thousands of years ago, everyone who will be healed must be erased their memory before and after being healed, then the body tree that determines whether the person deserves to be healed or not. But because of seeing the condition of that person who did not allow to follow the village ritual, the leader of the village finally agreed to directly take him under the body tree to be healed, and here the body tree is not due a refusal, so that the healing process going well. The next day, after waking up, that person then thanked the leader of the village and introduced himself as Nan Yufu, the general of the spirit who was injured while trying to attack criminals, at that time he heard that Ming Jin village can cure any disease, therefore, he tried to walk to enter the village, the leader of the village is surprised because according to him no outsider knew anything that happened in the village, because their memories are always erased before leaving the place. In short, after few days of meditation, Nan Yufu finally recovered 100% and allowed leaving the village, they finally hold a farewell ritual by asking Jing Xian to erase Nan Yufu's memories, at first, everything seems to be going as usual, Jing Xian and his brother then drove Nan Yufu all the way to the border of the village, but Jing Xian asked his brother to go home first because he wanted to play a farewell song for Nan Yufu, and then after his brother left him, and the moment that would change the fate of Ming Jin village happens. 
It turns out that previously, Jin Xian did not really erase the memory of Nan Yufu, because during Nan Yufu lived in there, he always tells amazing things outside the village, and he promised to show Jin Xian the outside world, until Jin Xian finally got eaten by his talk and left the village with Nan Yufu to see the outside world with him. But it turned out to be Nan Yufu's invited just a trap so that he could control Ming Jin village because it wasn't until a day, he come back by bringing his spirit troops. Because the villagers have no defense at all, finally, Nan Yufu and his troops could be easily rule the Ming Jin village. They made the villagers as an experiment to test their potions and use the power of the body tree to heal the villager, so that they can test the ingredients repeatedly to the villagers. It is also known that it turns out that it is Jin Xian's brother who tried to harm Xiao Ling and made her going to the spirit world at the earlier movie. He did that because he had been injected with a potion that could unleash passive power from the hosts of spirit where his abilities can make him disappear, but a side effect he becomes forgetful and eventually obeys all orders of Nan Yufu, so he has taken advantage to kidnap humans and bring them to the spirit world. Shortly, it's time for the body tree to bear fruit where it's like a pagoda tree belonging to Yen Bing which secrete new shoots every few years, but in the body tree called the phenomenon of the highest fruit, the fruit transformed into a guardian spirit in the form of Sun Gokong which was not anticipated by the troops of Nan Yufu. The villager with instructions from the leader of the village, immediately seized the opportunity to escape from there and hid in a cave, because the villagers of Ming Jin felt that their clan would not be able to defend their territory, they finally decided to put up a final fight by injecting the potion they stole to fight the spirit armor troops, at least they could defend the cave for them to live without having to be slaves from Nan Yufu. All the remaining villagers injected the potion except Jing Xian, he is ordered to bring a secrets letter to the descendants of the previous leader of Ming Jin village who are in the human world. The contents of the letter is be able only be seen by the original descendants of the Ming Jin's clan leader who has been disappear for a long time. Jin Xian also said that in order to control Ming Jin village, Nan Yufu also killed the old spirit general of Yulin Street and appointed General Men as his successor until now. Based on that story, Jin Xian who could not survive asked for help to Yang Bing to save his village from the hands of Nan Yufu and find out the original descendants of their clan leader, because according to Jin Xian, all this time, only Yan Bing who is brave to investigate it about the body tree and fight back Nan Yufu. Finally, after Jin Xian died, Yan Bing promised in front of the original villager of the Ming Jin village to stop Nan Yufu and find the descendants of their clan leader out there. On the other side, is shown Xiao Ling who has returned to Ming Jin village and helped to take care of girl that her condition is still not recovering, at a glance, it is shown here, the secret letter brought by Xiao Ling accidentally came into contact with the child's hand and popped up the writing inside, but she hadn't had time to pay more attention, suddenly General Man and Master Nan come, they asked Xiao Ling each to return to the human world. Because according to Master Nan, it is likely tonight there will be a huge attack by the royal group, and they can't guarantee the safety of Xiao Ling. Because Xiao Lang doesn't know the real identity of Master Nan, she has just obeyed him and prepared to return to the human world and escorted by General Men. On their way, they ran into Yan Bing who was heading to Ming Jin village, and then shown Xiao Lang say goodbye while handing the secret letter she was holding to Yan Bing, and then Yan Bing loudly also asked her not to return to the spirit world, to the point that he said it specifically to the guardian spirit of Xiao Lang. Actually Yan Bing has been told by Master Guy that the guardian spirit of Xiao Lang chained not without reason, because according to legend, her guardian spirit has two sides, and if the spirit host is unable to fully control the power of the guardian spirit, then instead the guardian spirit will rule over the spirit host. The point is, it would be dangerous to Xiao Ling be around the spirit world with her current strength, but due to its too much prestige, Yin Bing say it in that way and finally Xiao Ling left them both. Continue. Because here General Men still believes what Master Nan's talk about Yan Bing and misunderstood with Yan Bing's real purpose, he forbade him to enter Ming Jin village and it makes Yan Bing thinks that General Men already knows all the problems and from the beginning were on Nan Yufu's side. So, the fight between them both inevitable. Meanwhile, on the other side the royal group and the, the spirit troops armor have arrived at Ming Jin village and burned down that village, Nan Yufu began to carry out his true purpose, namely, take the highest fruit and destroy the body tree just as they destroyed the sacred pagoda tree in the Rakshasa street. Back to the fight between General Man and Yen Bing, here they realized that the body tree had begun to burn and they both immediately stopped their fight and panicked, both of them directly rushed towards the Ming Jin village. Arriving there, General Man is surprised to see the condition of the village that had been messy, and Yen Bing just realized that all this time General Man did not know about the plan of Nan Yufu, not long after, the two of them finally meet Nan Yufu and his troops, with an emotions feeling and disappointment, General Men tries to fight back Nan Yufu, but he couldn't fight back when Nan Yufu showed a girl that he hostage. 
Man Yufu shows which seemed to reopen the child's memory, and here, the facts revealed about his past which turned out to be that biological child of General Men before they entered the spirit area. And then because they are seeing if General Men couldn't do anything, then Yin Bing decided to fight him alone, but suddenly he was attacked by General Men from behind. Because General Men is worries that her daughter would be hurt, so he doesn't want to take a risks and preferred not fight Nan Yufu, and Yin Bing had been helpless and then brought by Hanzo to be executed, while General Men is robbed by Nan Yufu. And then here it is told that it turned out to be the highest fruit power of the body tree had been stored in General Men's body, without General Men's knowledge, so, Nan Yufu taken advantage of it and waited for the right time to be able to take that power. Meanwhile, on the other side, is shown Yin Bing escorted to the execution ground, but on the way, his group is confronted by the original villager of Ming Jin village with their zombie mode who try to save Yen Bing. Here, it can be said that the villagers are just desperate capital, they can finally be easily defeated by Hanzo and her guardian spirit, and in the middle of the fight, Yen Bing seeing brother of Jing Xian and trying to make him realize that he is also a villager of Ming Jin village. Shortly, Yen Bing is be able to resuscitating Jing Xian's brother and finally he helps to liberate Yen Bing, but unfortunately, they are caught off guard and cause Yen Bing to be attacked by Hanzo's guardian spirit, which makes him got an internal wounds. Shortly, in dying, Yen Bing is horned out of the fighting arena by villagers and taken to their hiding place to be treated. Few times later, shown here the master and Jing Xian's brother are going to meet Xiao Ling in the human world, the master claimed to have an invisible message from Master Guy who said that Yen Bing is dying and they had to rush to save him, so, both of them are finally taken by Jing Xian's brother heads to the hideout of Ming Jin original villager to see the condition of Yen Bing. Meanwhile, in Yen Bing's subconscious is shown Yen Bing who is talking to his guardian spirit, here, he realized of his body condition after receiving an attack from Hanzo's guardian spirit, he becomes a bit pessimistic if he can recover 100%, but his guardian spirit keep trying to motivate him so that Yen Bing regains his spirit. And then the scene moved to General Men who is currently being held captive by Nan Yufu, it is shown here that he began to remember about the beginning of his being able to enter the spirit realm and become the spirit general in the Yulin Street area, so, it was told in advance if he was a very persistent policeman, one day, he got the task of undercover and arrest the mafia, but in the middle of his disguise, he improvised and killed several people there, this incident seemed to make some parties so disturbed which eventually making targeted by big bosses there. Shortly, on his daughter's birthday, he got a mission from his superiors, even though he has promised to celebrate a birthday with his daughter, the moment with his daughter has actually been eagerly awaited because he is very busy and rarely sees his daughter, however, because of direct orders from his superiors, inevitably he had to leave his daughter again. It turned out that the mission is a trap that was deliberately set by his superiors who turned out to be corrupt police too, men of the mafia boss, here General Men was beaten and locked up for several days without being given a chance to talk to his daughter who is at home alone. This is where Nan Yufu comes to save him and gives him medicine so that he can recover. General Men then rushes to his house to see his daughter, he asks Nan Yufu to give medicine to his unconscious daughter, but Nan Yufu refuses, he reasoned that the child is not the spirit host, and the medicine he made can turn into a deadly poison for her, Nan Yufu says that if he wants to save his daughter, he must go to the spirit territory and gave up his old identity as a human, without thinking so long. General Men agreed to it, and from then on, he lives in the spirit region for the safety of his daughter. Back to Yen Bing, it is shown that he has begun to give up. Yen Bing considers it's useless for him to stay alive with the condition of his bones already destroyed. He is afraid that he would only become a burden to the people around him. Yen Bing had begun to be sincere and prepared to be picked up by an angels. But shortly, Xiao Ling and the master arrives at place that Yen Bing was taken. As soon as seeing his condition, the master asked Xiao Ling to stab the spear into Yen Bing's chest for transfuse the soul power of the spirit host. According to the master, the hidden power of Yen Bing had to lure out by using chakra of Xiao Ling and after smelling the fragrant powder belonging to Xiao Ling, the bones in the body of Yen Bing immediately recovering. But overconfident already, it turns out that what is happening here is actually the resurrection of another guardian spirit of Yen Bing who named Dian Wei because he was provoked by a spear that had killed him hundreds of years ago, the awakening accelerated the regeneration ability that already had from the beginning already belonging to the spirit host, however, because now there are two guardian spirits in his body, the speed of regeneration has doubled, this is where his guardian spirit just explained that they also felt the presence of two more guardian spirits in Yen Bing's body. Shortly, after waking up, Yen Bing immediately explained the current situation and planned to go to Nan Yufu's base to save General Men and take back the buds of the pagoda tree. Finally, after take a rest for one night, the three of them began their journey to the royal base. Meanwhile, on the other side, 
Nan Yufu had also prepared for the arrival of Yen Bing, he told his men to block him while the others were ordered to extract the highest fruit inside the general men's body. Shortly, Yen Bing and the others finally arrived at the royal gates and welcoming by the spirit host troops, however, he currently has two guardian spirits, those troops are not a problem for him, and Yen Bing and the others could pass them easily and entered the territory of the royal headquarters. Arriving inside, the three of them finally found General Men and his daughter who was also taken to be hostage, but they are too late because a few times ago, Nan Yufu's men had already taken the highest fruit from General Men's body, it makes General Men dying because it could be said to be partly of his spirit has been separated from his body. But here, Xiao Ling realized something that the secret seal that she carries, look likes has exposed its contents when accidentally touched by General Men's daughter, here she assumed that General Men might have been the person that Yan Bing had been looking for, based on that assumption, Yen Bing asked Xiao Ling to give the seal to General Men and it can guess, their estimation is right, the seal letter reacted and released the power stored in it, it makes General Men recovered and regained his strength, so without wasting a long time, Yen Bing and General Men continued to look for Nan Yufu while the master and Xiao Ling is in charge of bringing the children from there. Before Yen Bing and General Men reach Nan Yufu, they are confronted by one of his men and General Men told Yen Bing to continue his journey while he will fight that man by himself. After Yen Bing get out from that place, it turned out that Hanzo had also been waiting for him to fight, but again and again because now Yen Bing is strong, Yen Bing and his two guardian spirits could be easily to defeat Hanzo. After defeating Hanzo, Yen Bing finally met Nan Yufu, he then challenged Nan Yufu to fight to take back the pagoda tree buds he took from Rakshasa Street. Meanwhile, on the other side, the master also had to deal with one of Nan Yufu's men, a battle between two spirit hosts with an assassin-type guardian spirit ensued here, in fact, the master can keep up with his enemy, however, because his enemy is targeting Xiao Ling, the master's concentration is chaotic, and finally he's successfully subverted. And then here, with the intention of put a mental load onto Xiao Ling, Nan Yufu's subordinate reopened the memory of Xiao Ling that had erased previously by Yen Bing, but she doesn't know that it could actually release the chain that had been binding the guardian spirit of Xiao Ling, when she is going to execute those two girls, suddenly guardian spirit of Xiao Ling appeared and directly attacked her, but here, Xiao Ling realized that her guardian spirit now is using different skin than before and this is what Yen Bing has been worried about the guardian spirit belonging to Xiao Ling. And the master who had been warned by master guide before about guardian spirits of Xiao Ling, tried to tell him that the figure in front of them at this time is the other side of Xiao Ling's guardian spirit, but because from the beginning Xiao Ling need more education about the spirit region and everything in it, she still tried to communicate with the figure. Finally the feared thing happened where the figure attacked them, and not long ago, the leader of the hero hall who had once challenged Master Guy appeared there and helped them, but here, Xiao Ling is still trying to resuscitate her guardian spirit and prevents them to executing her guardian spirit. And it turns out that the effort of Xiao Ling succeeded, her guardian spirit waking up again and successfully controlling himself. Here, Xiao Ling immediately asked him to enter her spirit domain to rest and then see the situation that had begun to be conducive, to the leader of the hero hall and the companion leaves them in search of Nan Yufu. Move to Yan Bing who has arrived at Nan Yufu's place with the help of two his guardian spirit, here they end up facing each other, but Nan Yufu only fights Yan Bing by using the warrior he created from the seed, and turns out to be in here Nan Yufu just said that he wasn't actually a spirit host, which automatically makes him unable to have guardian spirit, so he finally tried to outweat Yan Bing by using poisonous seeds, but Yan Bing be able to anticipate it and attack Nan Yufu by using the breath technique. After successfully cornering Nan Yufu, Yan Bing immediately asks him to hand over the butt of the pagoda tree that he's stolen, but Nan Yufu even ate the butt of the tree while saying that he had a big surprise for Yan Bing, and then suddenly a chest appeared behind Yan Bing where from inside the chest comes a figure that resembles his father who died a dozen years ago. And then shown here that the figure also has the body of a fighter where he has four guardian spirits in him, so he could be easily to beat Yan Bing, this also confirms that in terms of strength, he is Yan Bing's father, however it is shown here that he intended to kill Yan Bing. Again and again in a sprawled state, here, Yan Bing enters his spirit realm and communicates with the demon who has been the guardian of his family for generations, the demon shows the memory of Yan Bing who was omitted by Nan Yufu when his father's death, turned out to be his father did not die in an accident, but was kidnapped by Nan Yufu and his men, so in fact, he had been eyeing the pagoda buds from decades ago, and deliberately, leading Yen Bing and his brother to guard the tree until the time arrives them to harvest. The demon explains that his father's body Yen Bing had been filled with Nan Yufu's spirit so that he could use his power, he also tells Yen Bing that there are actually five more guardian spirits still sleeping in his body, and he must resurrect them if he wants to defeat Nan Yufu. 
And then after getting a power from his demon, Yin Bing be able to get up and summon his four guardian spirits to come out. Yin Bing and his guardian spirit fought Nan Yufu who used his father's body along with his four guardian spirits. Here, maybe because Nan Yufu is not used to using Yin Bing's father's skin, he lost the fight and was successfully cornered by Yin Bing, and then with the last hit attack, Yin Bing managed to remove the pagoda tree bud from his body, it turned out that after the bud comes out, Nan Yufu could no longer survive in the body of Yen Bing's father and suddenly comes out in the form of maggots. So here his father's spirit comes back in and told Yen Bing to catch the maggots. Here, suddenly the leader of the hero hall appeared and confronted Yen Bing while stepping on Nan Yufu in a stealth form, it turned out that he had also been eyeing Tree Bud's pagoda and the highest fruit and immediately took it from the Yen Bing's hand. But here he only got the buds of the pagoda tree because of the highest fruit is in Nan Yufu's men who fled from there first. So here the leader of the hero hall challenges Yen Bing to take the buds of pagoda tree and fight him in the hall of heroes if he already able to take out all seventh of his guardian spirits. And then he left Yen Bing and his dying father to pursue the highest fruit. On the way out, they then met with Nan Yufu's men who took the highest fruit here because the mission was completed. Nan Yufu's men told the leader of the hero hall that he is actually a spy named Yin Foam who was in the same group with Master Guy, so, he challenged the leader of the Hero Hall to come to him, if he really wanted that highest fruit. Back to Yen Bing and his father, before taking his last breath, he had time to tell Yen Bing that the person who made him wretched was one of the ten the highest knights of the kingdom named Nola, his father gave a will that he must avenge him and thwart the kingdom's plans at all costs. On the other side, is shown Master Guy who appears with his true identity along with Yin Fong and the Master, here he asks Yin Fong to use the highest fruit to heal the child of General Men who was affected by potions of Nan Yufu, while the master from then on is make his disciple and asked to deliver a message to Yen Bing. Shortly, after burying his father in Kun Chen, Yen Bing then met by the master, here, he conveyed a message from Master Guy and the point is what was taught by Master Guy before is just the beginning of a big event that will happen later in here. After hearing the message from Master Guy, Yen Bing then continued his journey but this times with Xiao Ling and General Men, who also plan to avenge the royal group and the movie is end.